Whoever believes in Allah and the last day, let him maintain strong family ties. A hadith that I came across, which made me decide to make a surprise visit to my sister in Pennsylvania. When I read it, I was overcome by shame, since the last time I actually saw my sister was last year, when she asked me to babysit her daughter Fatima. My sister asked me to take care of Fatima for a few days as she was about to give birth to a second daughter. To be completely honest, I had no clue how to take care of a baby girl. I could hardly take care of myself, but I couldn't say no to my sister. When my brother-in-law dropped her off, she didn't even know how to say my name. I had no idea how I was supposed to entertain her. I didn't even know how to break the ice. So I started reflecting on how the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him dealt with the children around him. The Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was so loving to everyone. But at the same time he was particularly compassionate to children. He would constantly be seen playing with them, joking with them, embracing them, visiting them when they were sick, lifting their spirits when they were down. He would even try to speak to the non-Arab children in their own languages just to show them that he loved them just as much. And a young girl could take his hand and walk him all around Medina without him letting go of her hand until she let go of his. When Al Hassan and Hussein used to jump on his back while he was praying, he used to wait for them to come down and then place them on his lap gently. He once said, when I stand for prayer, I enjoy prolonging it. But once I hear a child crying, I cut it short so that I don't cause distress to the child's mother. We often get impatient with children, forgetting that we were once them, and sometimes they'll act like them. And one day they will be like us, and hopefully show us mercy the way we showed it to them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, showed interest in their interests. He played with their toys. He even once asked about one of the kids' birds, saying, Ya Umair, ma fa'al al We seem to forget at times that loving children is of the easiest sunnahs and of the easiest ways by which we gain Allah's love. For our Prophet peace be upon him said that those who do not show compassion will not receive it. Compassion is a natural part of our humanity and it's even further enhanced through our Islam. However, if it isn't cherished and exhibited, we may lose it forever. Imagine how different the world would be if we were all just a little bit more loving and kind to our family members. And love is not only expressed through words. The Prophet, peace be upon him, despite carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders, still paid attention to the small things like drinking from the same part of the glass, sneaking in a surprise kiss, even challenging you to a surprise race. There wasn't a chore too small nor a moment too quick for him to show you that he loved you and was paying close attention to you. Oh Fatima, you have no idea how much I miss you. You may be young, but you've taught me so much. You've taught me how to follow the example of our greatest teacher and being loving and caring towards one's family. Rasulullah, I don't know how you did it, how you managed to care for this ummah the way you did while being anything but neglectful to your family. Your greatness as a husband and father was just as remarkable as your greatness as a leader.